Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about carbon steel cookware. I use it all the time. People always ask me questions. I've answered some of those questions in short form video, but they asked for a full length video about carbon steel cookware and why I prefer it. And also carbon steel care. So I'm gonna do all of that in one video. So this is my carbon steel pan. In my opinion, it's the quintessential restaurant pan. If I were to make a comparison to anyone who doesn't know what it is, I would say it's closest to, but not exactly like a cast iron pan. The first couple differences right off the bat is cast iron heats very slowly and it is very heavy. Carbon steel pan being lighter while still being able to retain heat like a cast iron pan makes it ideal for a kitchen scenario. Holding them side by side, besides the obvious size difference, they even look a little bit similar, but one thing they have in common is they need to be seasoned. And to demonstrate what seasoning is and how to do it, I got a brand new pan here. So seasoning is a process of applying oil to a pan and heating it up, and then once it hits a certain temperature, the oil polymerizes. And that polymerized oil is your seasoning and that will help protect the pan from things like rust and oxidation. It will also give the pan non-stick qualities. The pan on the left with the bluish hue is brand new, nothing's been done to it, and the pan on the right has been well seasoned and well used for many years, and it's almost jet black. So just to give kind of like an easy visual demonstration of what seasoning does, this is the brand new pan, I'm gonna add some water to it, dump it out, and the water kind of clings to it and sticks to it because there's nothing on there, it's just the water touching the metal. So I'll just do the exact same thing with my seasoned pan, I'll fill it with water and dump it out. And you can kind of see the water doesn't really stick to it. Um, it looks like this pan has been waxed, but that's just the polymerized oil giving the nonstick qualities I was talking about. So next I'm gonna show you how to season your pan. So first things first, brand new pan, I'm gonna wash it. And I'm gonna get off any factory oils or factory residues and start with a completely clean slate. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can season your pan. First is in the oven. This is great for really large carbon steel pans. They do come in different sizes, different shapes, just like any other pan. Or if your range is induction, I would recommend just seasoning your pans in the oven. It's a little bit more even heat distribution. So first I got a sheet tray with a wire rack and then my oil that I'm going to season the pan with. Now I use sunflower oil for my pans. A lot of people really like flaxseed oil, but any high smoke point oil will do fine. There's tons of literature out there online if you wanna know if your oil is good to use or not. So I'm gonna begin by wiping a very heavy layer of oil on both sides of the pan, inside and out. Remember, this is to protect it from rust as well, not just uh, to make it non-stick. And then I will flip my towel over and wipe it with the dry side to get any excess, just so there's no drips on it. Put your pan face side down, throw it in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. When the time's up, just turn the oven off, crack the door, and let it cool down in there. This next method, we're gonna be doing it on the range stovetop, which is my preferred method for smaller pans. Take your pan, put it on the stove, preheat it on medium high heat, and let it sit for about three to four minutes. And then we're just going to apply oil in the same manner as before with a pretty thick layer, top and bottom to protect the entire pan. And then just go ahead and place it right back on the stove and then let it sit for a couple minutes. And then once you see the oil start to bead up and start to smoke, that's when you can go ahead and grab the dry side of your towel and start giving it a wipe to remove any excess oil so you don't get any drip marks or uneven spots. And if you see any brown or black spots on your towel, it is completely normal. Your towel is just picking up oil that didn't really stick to the pan. But after that wipe, go ahead and turn the heat down to low and you're just gonna let it ride for about 10 minutes. And I usually know when it's done is when there's no more smoke coming off of the pan. Now some troubleshooting issues before I get any questions. If your pan is really sticky, it means that you didn't do it long enough or you put too much oil. Both of those problems are easily fixed. Just continue to use your pan. Your pan will pick up seasoning as you go and any excess seasoning will just come off as you use it. It's not really that big of an issue. But once you're confident that your pan is done, just turn off the heat and then let it cool down all the way. But here it is, the very first layer of seasoning on this pan. It doesn't look too tremendously different. And you could stop here, but for a brand new pan, I would recommend repeating the seasoning process more than once. The seasoning starts off kind of patchy at first, and then it'll pick up more seasoning as you use it. And seasoning it more than once, uh, right when you get it, kind of gives you a little bit of a head start. I'm going to do the seasoning process three times total. Once you have good seasoning on the pan, you do not need to do it this frequently or this intensely. Um, all you have to do is uh, maintenance every now and then if you notice that your pan is uh, sticking in certain places or if you did something kind of acidic in the pan, 
uh, and you want to replenish the seasoning, then go ahead and season it up. But it is not this labor intensive usually. So here is the pan after its three seasonings and the color is getting towards uh, more of a black. It's still a little bit blue. As I mentioned before, that's going to even out as you use it. So if your pan looks like this for a little bit, it's totally normal. Do not worry about it. And just a quick side by side with my other pan. I mean, they look pretty close. One of them is clearly more well used than the other. But just to demonstrate, I'm going to do the exact same little water test that I did earlier with the brand new pan. So as you can see, the water doesn't cling to it anymore. So I do know that there is a protective coating there. Now that we've discussed and we've gone over the seasoning and protective coating, we need to talk about what it is very susceptible to, what it is very weak to is acidic foods. A squeeze of lemon juice or a splash of white wine is not going to be the end of the world, but I wouldn't do something like make a tomato sauce or make a red wine sauce in this pan. It'll completely remove your seasoning and you'll have to start over, which is fine. But for those kind of jobs, I would still recommend having a stainless steel pan. They are non-reactive. Now to do the real test, which is the egg test. Now this is a test to see if your carbon steel pan or your cast iron pan has a good layer of seasoning because eggs are very famous for sticking to everything. So preheat your pan, throw in your egg. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna do a quick little tilt of the pan. It's still stuck on there a little bit. So I'm gonna give it another minute. And then the egg whites are still raw on top, but as I start shaking the pan, it has released. So I am very happy with the seasoning. So I could let her hang out and be an over easy, or I can give it a flip for an over medium. Okay, I ditched the egg. I'm gonna show you cleanup of carbon steel pans. So I let it cool down all the way. And first it's just to remove any surface debris. Um, I like using a, a metal spatula. That's the other cool thing about carbon steel is you can use whatever tools you want. Metal tools are completely fine. You're not gonna scratch it. You're not gonna damage it. But anyways, I'm just gonna scrape off all of this surface stuff. One question I got a lot about cleaning carbon steel pans is can you use soap? Yes, you can use soap. Um, the whole don't use soap on cast iron or carbon steel pans, although it was true at one point, it's not true anymore. Soap is a lot more mild and a lot more gentle than it used to be. There's not as many harsh things in it. So if the soap removes the seasoning from your pan, your pan was not seasoned properly in the first place. I think the most important thing is just not to overly scrub your pan and not to soak it in water. So I just seasoned this pan for the first time. I scrubbed it with hot soapy water and as you can see there's still a protective coating on there so it is fine but now that I'm done washing it I'm just going to dry it off and I use mine pretty much every day but if you are not going to use yours every single day and you're just going to stow it away somewhere um, I would recommend applying a very light layer of oil that's going to protect it from the air and then there's Remy making an appearance in the background. After you wipe it with oil you can go ahead and store it check on it periodically every once in a while see if you have to reapply but other than that it's pretty straightforward now the other way that you can clean it if you do not want to use soap is to use salt now um, as for what kind of salt it doesn't really matter i mean maybe like a kosher or like a table salt because it's really inexpensive and you're just using it to clean something so maybe skip the himalayan pink salt for this one and save that for something else but after it has cooled down uh, the rest of the way, you can go ahead and throw in a pinch of salt in there and then just grab a rag and rub the inside. The salt is going to absorb excess moisture. It's going to absorb excess oil as well. The salt is also abrasive, so it's going to remove any stuck on food. Uh, but when you're done, you can dump that out. I actually save the salt and I'll reuse it more than once just so I'm not throwing away salt all the time. And then give it a wipe and then repeat the exact same process as earlier. You can give it a rinse with a little bit of water if you really want to. Um, but otherwise, just wipe it down, store it away. Um, I believe I covered all of the essential information. If not, just leave me a comment. I love answering questions. I do read all the comments. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. It really does help. Boost that algorithm. But that'll be it. When in doubt, end the video.